Why is this ayah so long and why do we have to finish it? Ah, who knows what it's about? It is called the ayah of debts. In fact, it doesn't just talk about debts, it talks about contracts, debts, how to witness debts and how to write it. it talks about transactions. Let's see. I'm not going to recite the whole verse. I'm just going to give you the summary, the points, the important points it, it discusses. It says, number one, right, so it's verse, uh, it's chapter number two, verse 282. Verse 282. It says, if you enter into a loan agreement, then you must write it down. That's the first thing it says. You must what? You must write it down. Some people, because they're their friend or their relative or their father or mother or their brother or their sister, they think that if they write it down, they take it as if it's a distrust. Wrong. We have to stop this trend and this misconception. It is an obligation to write it down. Number two, or get an independent person to write it and he shouldn't refuse. Get someone else to write it if you like. The point it has to be written. Number three, the debtor dictates to the writer what to write. The, the next point, fear Allah and detail every term clearly. You have to be very detailed and clear. The next point, if the debtor is not fit enough, maybe they're not very mature enough, let their guardian write it on his or her behalf. Do you see how much writing is so emphasized? And Allah then says, two trustworthy men have to witness to the agreement. And if you cannot find two trustworthy men, Allah says, then one trustworthy man and two trustworthy women. Why? Because Allah says, if one woman forgets, the other one reminds her. But then you might say, what, in this day and age, women work with... The answer to that, brothers and sisters, is not that women are less uh, knowledgeable or less logical or less rational or less in their brain or their mind. No, this is a misunderstanding. It is because the nature of majority of women. Number one, it's not an obligation for women to financially be responsible for families, which then causes that it necessitates that many women throughout time and even in the world today will not be dealing much with finances unless she wants to. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that since the obligation of finance is not on women, therefore a woman may, because she's not involved in it all the time, she may forget. She may be pregnant, she may be going through uh, child rearing and so on and so forth, where she has, she has more likeliness to forget what it was. So write it down. Anyway, Allah then says, the witnesses must not refuse if called to give evidence later. The next one, no slackness or negligence in dealing, in detailing the transactions and the terms. Then Allah says, must clearly write the terms due date. Then he says, the fair, this is fairest and more just so that there are no ambiguities, doubts or accusations later on. Then Allah says, but immediate transactions like a sale, or a purchase that is on the spot, you are not obliged to write it, but it is preferable to write it, i.e. invoices and receipts. And lastly, the scribe, the person who wrote it, must never be threatened or caused any harm. So brothers and sisters, this whole ayah is talking so much about the rights of people's finances and debts, that it must be in this manner.